Hey everybody, it's Nalzi here and it's time to play Smooth Operators Call Center Chaos. Let's put on our headsets and load the call center. Nalzi's pulls? I think so. Load. Okay, hope everyone out there is doing good, feeling fantastic. I am both feeling good and fantastic, so we're good. So we're good there. <laughs> good intro, uh, good intro there. Okay, uh, let's start the game. So our janitors are cleaning up. I actually have notes. I actually wrote notes on paper for this game. So I've got down here that I need a couple of, wait, let me slow down time while I talk about. So I've got down here, in fact, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, so, oops, what have I done here? Oh, no, no, that's fine. So I've got notes here on paper that I, I noted down while watching back last week's video. So I've got here that I need a couple of buildings. Now, I need handymen, but I don't think we've unlocked them. Handymen, um, they seem to fix things, uh, and all these windows are broken. But I don't think we've unlocked the handyman yet. Uh, there, so it's locked. So that'll kind of hopefully fix all our buildings, as you can see. Uh, sorry, I keep clicking, apologies. All the buildings have smashed windows and things, so we need those when they're ready, right? What I need is a HR person, because what I want to do is I want to uh, schedule employee start times. Right, now that should hopefully ease up the elevator usage and it should be a lot better in the call center. So, and also that'll allow us to fire unproductive people. Because I don't know if you noticed, but in the last video, the person that we fired was actually very unproductive in comparison to the people around him. So we can find unproductive people and get rid. Uh, so for that, I'm going to need an office. Uh, so I can have a HR manager potentially and the project manager potentially as well. And also a new service uh, station so I can move the IT people out of these rooms here uh, because they're in just normal offices and that's why they're intrinsically unhappy because they don't feel welcome in these offices. So we need a couple of buildings. So let's begin, shall we? <laughs> so there you go. I actually did a little bit of research before I started. Isn't that kind of like almost slightly impressive? Uh, we've got two janitors on the job today. Somebody's missing. That's okay, I suppose. You know, they have to have a day off sometime. It would be unethical to have them working all the time. <laughs> uh, but it would be nice. Um, so we've got one janitor getting some lunch there. The day is dawning. We're going to work on uh, we're going to work on back office also. So we've got three queues, inbound, outbound and back office. Now, if I'm correct, inbound pays three dollar per call. Outbound is five dollar per call and back office is four dollar per call. So by Sorting out the back office queue, I'll get uh, more money and hopefully get the bonus as well. Because uh, I only need to get out of the red. I didn't know that either. They don't teach you these things. Um, okay, I have access to higher handymen. I'm going to need them. Uh, managers can speed up your staff substantially, but be careful you don't push agents too far. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Right, so we need some money before we start off. Now let's just slow down time and find out how much money we need. So I think the thing I want to get first is an office. I'd like to get an office first so I can get some office uh, staff. So that's going to cost three grand and then we need... HR manager for 600 so we need 3.6, we need $2,000 more. And that should be good, and that'll be very good for us, I think. And then we're going to move this IT person as well uh, to uh, the, sa the station, like another service station. We'll, we'll make another service station for that, um, for these two unfortunate IT personnel. What are their names? Is Williams is one, and who's the other one? Williams and Lane. Oh, Williams and Lane, okay. Right, Lane, get to work. Williams, come on, there's a broken computer down here. Oh, the, oh, the boss is back. The manager's back. He's uh, inciting some great work out of, our, uh, out of our staff. All the computers are breaking. One of your workers has gone home sick. Uh, okay, have they indeed? Who, who is it that's went home sick? I wonder. Who are you? Who are you? Where are you? Is it you? It's you, isn't it? back off this person are we let's have a look at our thoughts here wow sure is clean yeah yeah they did a good job uh not feeling so good damn slow elevator okay hmm uh, i see i see my x key is lost this paper stinks i don't understand uh okay i'm too tired to work i'm seeing cracks yeah there are a lot of cracks uh, don't mind the cracks though. They're they're fine. You don't worry about the cracks. We're gonna get some handy men in to fix them. I don't understand how my computers aren't all fixed. We've got three IT staff. No wait, we've got more than three. Where's maybe they're in the um, yeah maybe they're in the restaurant there. Ah there we go. We've got some more work in now. Right, get to work, peoples. 
you're doing fine outbound you're doing substantial work today and i'm very proud of you so yeah that, that that's odd to me the, the game doesn't actually tell you that you only need to get out of the red to stop getting the negative bonus if it was a real call center that wouldn't be the case you wouldn't get paid any bonus unless you met the um projected sla uh for that day uh you would be uh, in serious bother with your client if you didn't get it actually right we've got three grand so here we go what we're going to do first then is we're going to go into the shop menu and i'm going to buy a building i'm going to buy an office building i'm going to put the office building here i like it here and we are going to wait until we have 600 bucks and we're going to put a hr manager in there and then we can fire people properly without having to get a huge deduction we can fire people who are unproductive we can schedule everyone's start times it will be phenomenal and trust me folks this <laughs> this is going to be stupendous so i hope everyone out there is doing good uh, we've started a new we've just finished a day actually we didn't earn a lot of money that day but that's okay we have to take a, a couple of dumps basically like we have to we have to take a couple of like bad days before we get the good days you know uh, right, more volumes tomorrow. Look at those back office. 714 back office tomorrow. We are we are behind. We're behind. Do I want to save the game? Yeah. And a lot of people have said that I should restart. And I don't think you understand. If this were a real constant, I couldn't just restart. You know, I couldn't just look at my call center you know, and say, you know what, that couple of million I've invested, forget it. Let's start again. That's not how call centers work, folks. I'm in here for the long run. Come hell or high water, this call center will be productive. <laughs> or I'll burn it to the ground trying. Um, so no, we're not going to start again. Although that would be the easy way out, you know. I don't I, I do not do the easy way out. I made mistakes and I'm going to stick with them. I put the elevators in the wrong place. And you know what? That hurts. And that's bad. But there's nothing I'm going to do about that right now. I'm going to just stick with it. I'm going to see how far we can get with Nalsey's pools. Uh, so there, so there you go. Janitors, you're doing all right. You still haven't cleaned that top floor. Might need more janitors. May need more janitors. All right, see you later, janitors. Are your staff really unhappy? Hire a coach, give them a raise or a vacation. Yes, well, we're working on that. I'm going to hire HR, and then that should hopefully um, help us when we schedule everyone's start times. Right, okay, we've got people starting now, which is pretty nice. IT staff, oh my, look at this IT staffer here. Oh, the IT staff are so unhappy. You can do it, don't don't quit, don't quit on me. I need you, oh god, they, they couldn't be unhappier. Seriously, <laughs> they are having the worst day of their lives right now. But you gotta fix these computers, these computers ain't gonna fix themselves. Come on now, you, you got this. Who's this? Lane, you got it, Lane. Wait a minute, what does Lane actually think? What, what's Lane saying to it? Moods very low. Revenue minus 680. Okay. No pay today. This sucks. What? No pay today? I don't belong here. Sure is dirty here. I'm seeing cracks. I'm too tired to work. Wow. You're, yeah, you're having a bad, bad day today, Lane. No pay today. That's a bit odd. I, um, I'm confused about that. Uh, I usually do pay uh, my staff, uh, you know, when... They ah, there we go. Wait, we've got $600. Shop menu. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Office staff. HR manager. Gadoosh, okay. Why are you unhappy? HR managers goes in the. This is an office building, right? Why are you unhappy? Don't you dare say you don't belong here. No pay today. Oh, all right, okay. Well, yeah, deal with it. Right, so. Can I now. Schedules. Reschedule. Ah! Here we go! Okay, take effect from tomorrow. So we want to shift start time. 9.16 end time, right, okay. So I want you to start, so who is this? This is uh, inbound calls, right? So inbound, you can start at around nine. Now, that'll do. Okay, close. Now we're gonna have to go through every single desk here. 8.48, no, I want you to start at nine. Save schedule. Schedule changes will affect tomorrow, okay. So this is something that, um, has been bothering me having all these people starting at such strange times okay close right close all right so this this whole building here is going to start at nine these are the nine o'clock buildings okay now these people in here these are the um these are the ten o'clock buildings uh 
Wait a minute, schedule. T look at these people start at 12. In fact, these people start at half 10. This is the half 10 shift. There we go. Now, this is just going to be very dull, actually, I realize for everyone watching. But, you know, you got to take the rough with the smooth, you know. Sometimes it's all action. Sometimes you've got everyone, you know, going here and there. You've got, like, super cool stuff to watch. You've got, like, call center computers exploding, you know. You've got everything. But then sometimes you got to get down with the nitty gritty, you know. you got to sit down and think, you know, sometimes... <laughs> the, the the hard work is boring right so this these people here right so actually who's this 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 is um who sits here properties this is an inbound agent where's my inbound agent i want to i want to find it staff perry right so perry's going to start at nine it's fine okay so it staff here lane right okay it's fine i want lane to cover this building here so that's going to be uh, start time, they're going to start at 12. No, actually, they're going to start at half 11. 11. 30. There you go. Close. Right. Oh, this is an inbound agent called Lane as well. Okay, 11.30 here. Save. Fine. Man, the rescheduling could be a little bit better, I'll be honest with you. This could be a lot more intuitive. It's a shame that I can't pick exact precise times either. Everyone's kind of coming in at weird, weirdish times. Right. Oh, that'll do. Close. Did I save the schedule on this one? Do, do, do. Right, okay. Schedule. Reschedule. 11.34. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Last computer. Now, now, I click on the person, not the computer. Gotcha. I have noted it. 8 o'clock, 11.30. Okay, now this is going to help us in many ways. This is going to stop the staff from overcrowding the elevators at certain times. I'm going to change this uh, IT staff. All right, so Lane will cover that building. So I'm going to reschedule Lane for half 11. Lane, good news, you get a lion tomorrow. Save schedule. Salary, I'm going to change your salary, actually. I'm going to put you 42, even though you didn't get paid today. <laughs> right, okay. So this building here. Now I'm going to have this building starting at, like, 12.15-ish, uh, 12.20-ish. That's about right. Yep, yeah, save. 12.20. I'm happy with that. 12.20. Done. Okay. And this is a back office person. Starting at 12.42. You're coming in a bit earlier, friend. Andreas, I think was your name. Schedule 8.18 8 again. It's so strange how all these times have been picked. I think it must be something to do with the times I hired these people. Right, so this team up here is going to be the, uh, these are going to be the 12.45, no, these can be the, uh, the one, these can be the one o'clock starts, okay, this one, one o'clock, schedules are boring, but they're also important, folks, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, I can't believe he's been doing schedules for this entire time, but this is it. You know, sometimes you got to take your time and do the work. Uh, right, okay, so this is the IT staff, and they're going to start, and they're going to cover this building tomorrow, right? So I need IT staff to cover these two top buildings at some point tomorrow. So this schedule is going to be a half one. So these are the late-nighters, and the top late-nighters, these people. So these are half half one. Now, the call centers that I used to work at, we had um, shifts that would start. You'd start at half eight, or you start at nine, Sometimes you would start at half ten. What time are these again? I can't recall. Uh, I've gotten lost in my thoughts there. Apologies. Uh, half one, right? Okay. So you'd start at night. Sorry, you start at uh, half eight, nine, half ten, or half twelve, or half two. So these people are getting off lucky that I'm not making them start at half two. To be honest, because I could, you know, I've got that power. Save schedule, close. And who have we got here? A back office crew. Right, a schedule. Half one. Save, close. This computer, thank you. And half one again. 
Personally, my favourite, and no, there was a half two shift as well, so the half two to eleven was the shift. It was actually not bad, I actually quite liked it. Like, a lot of people in the call setting, they're like, oh, I hate this half two shift, you know, uh, I don't like it at all, but actually it was really good, because you got to stay up really late at night, and then you could go to bed uh, really late, and then you get up really late and have a nice line, it was actually alright, to be honest. Right, so this, pe this person here, this is uh, Perry. Perry, you're going to start at... You're going to start at 11. Yeah. You're my late night IT staff. Who's here? This is a janitor. I don't really mind about the janitors. Three janitors. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. There we go. Schedules done. What a video, folks. What a video. Okay. Now this, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. Everyone's starting at different shift times. This should hopefully be good. This will help us with the cafeteria. Less people getting angry because it'll be full all the time when the lunch is ready. And less people getting stuck in the elevator. Um, just more consistent, reliable people. And that's good. That is good. Another thing we should really do is kind of go through all... Wait a minute, let's have a look at the HR report. Someone said they wanted to have a look and see what was in here. Scurvy, yep, scurvy. Andreas, I'm, I'm curious about this. Uh, scurvy. What's, uh, what's, what's he up to here? Thoughts. Not feeling so good. Yeah, you've got scurvy apparently, huh? Um, let me see. Employed for 10 days. No income today. Income total. Okay. I can't see. Where, where is his desk? Is it this? Where is it? This desk? Is this an, as Jules? Is it this one? Oh wait, Shane, the manager. Wait, we haven't scheduled Shane. No, we did schedule Shane. We did schedule Shane. Actually, Shane, I want you to start uh, earlier schedule because this office here starts at like half eleven, don't they? So I'm going to start you, Shane, at like eleven. There we go. Right. Okay. Now we're really done. We're seriously done now. I'll be interested to see how this goes tomorrow. Uh, I know you're all sitting there thinking this is going to go really badly, but no, this could actually work. You know, we could really get on top of things here. This could be, you know, <laughs> this could be the big change. This could be it, folks. <laughs> oh, it's going to be bad, isn't it? Outbound, come on, you sons of guns. You had two calls left. How dare you? Okay, janitors, please clean the top floor today. Like, I don't know what is going on. Why is there only two janitors? I'm going to be checking this in a second. Three calls missed. Call volume tomorrow is increased, of course. Mine is $100. That's okay. Do I want to save? Yes. There's my third janitor. Yeah, about bloody time. Where are you going? Why would you... Do, why would you... Do, oh, my God. Oh, you are so annoying. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Boyce. Boyce, eh? So, Boyce went from here into this elevator all around down here and then into that room. Boyce, you are a sp Special kind of person, buddy. I'm keeping my eyes on you, and that's not good news for you. That is not. Sh wow, sure is clean. Yeah, okay. Gotta pat your own back, much. C come on. <laughs> oh wow, sure is clean. We're doing a heck of a job today. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Please do that top floor though. That top floor hasn't been cleaned in three days. Are you actually gonna get up there today, boys? I'm looking at you, buddy. <laughs> He's gone. He's boys. Boys is gone. Look at these two legends. They started before boys and they are ending after him. I don't understand this. Boys, we're gonna have words tomorrow, I'm telling you right now. Uh, don't forget that you can also upgrade your transportations. Yes, I know that. We need a HR manager for that though, don't we? Upgrades. Uh, you need a higher project manager to unlock this feature. Let's do that now. Let's do that right now. Shop uh, project manager. Because I think upgrading the transportation would be good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there we go. We've got some people starting. This is my early shift starting, and we've got the um, the repair crew on the job getting the systems fixed. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who is this? Who? Lane. Nice customer. Okay. Where's the handyman? Yeah, yeah, you're working on that. Did I not save you, Lane? Dang it! I'm sorry, Lane, that you're working up there by yourself. I'm so sorry. Half eleven, you're supposed to start. Okay, let me fix that for you. Gosh darn it! I knew it. And there's going to be a couple I forgot to hit save on. I know that. Half eleven. Right there we go. There we go. Save. Right, Lane. Tomorrow you're starting at half eleven, buddy. And there's my uh, my downstairs team, and the computers are all ready for them. Fantastic. This is good. This is good. This is working. Lane IT Tech has resigned. The lunch break is too short for my appetite. I'm moving to greener pastures. Okay. 
Well, that's fine. Wait a minute, lay in the IT tech. You. Is it you here? I'm just going to check. I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so we need a new IT technician. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if we do. I think with these schedules, we might be okay without another IT technician. I'm curious as to how we're going to do. One of your workers is sick and has gone home, have they, really? Who? You? Is it you that's sick? Yep, I'm lying. What? Selling, selling. Wow, sure is clean schedule. Half ten, half... Are you the one that's went home sick? Who, it, who is it? Abraham. HR report. Uh, Clarence. My rhino telexomania is driving me crazy today. Where are they? The locate thing is not great. Is that them there? Archie? Where's Clarence? But where's this person going? I don't understand where this person is going. This person is going somewhere. Like to... To lunch or something, but I don't get why they're going home for it. Yep, I'm lying. That what worries me. Where's Clarence? It was Clarence. Clarence. Where are they? I've clicked locate and it doesn't take me to them. Locate. Okay, cancel. Is that Clarence? That's Elias. Who's that? Perry. Okay, I'm lost. I've no idea where Clarence is. Wait, 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 wait. Outbound. Damn it. Clarence, there we go. Thoughts. Not feeling so good. Okay. That's a shame. Uh, you start at half 12. Uh, okay, fine. Right, okay, let's keep going. I'm not happy with that, to be honest. So everyone is working hard. This is good. My early staffers are going home very soon. So we're going to have less, you know, movement for the IT staff. Uh, I'm just going to make sure, actually, schedule. You're going to home soon, right? Uh, shift ends at, yeah, 6 o'clock. Okay. This is the first room to end. I like this. I like this a lot. And all these people here are probably on their lunch at the moment. We're not having too big of a problem at the kiosk. Three out of four. I might have missed it. Maybe we did, but I uh, didn't see it. Um... I think this is better. This is definitely better. We've got our outbounds here working hard. The computers are much more manageable now because we have a lot um, more coverage for them. We've got... Uh, who's this here? I think that's, that's Perry. And who's this here? Jamie. Jamie and Perry doing some good work. And all the computers are fixed by the end of the night. I like that. Oh, well, no, wait. There's one left. You're not going to go home without fixing that. How fast would you have been able to fix that? We've got janitors working. Before people leave, I'm not. I haven't got a problem with that. Janitors can come and go as they please. I don't mind actually. We've got seventeen hundred bucks. I want a new. What do I want? What do I want? I want a new place for staff now. I think buildings. Yeah, an operations block, like here. Need a new operations block. Yeah, I think that's the smartest thing. Maybe put it over here, actually. I don't know. What do you think? But now I've got my HR manager. All the schedules are sorted, so I can tick that off my, my list. I'm going to tick it off. I've got it here at the back of my list. Schedule employees start end times and fire unproductive people. The firing unproductive people, I think we'll leave for the next time, because that's going to take ages. But I think that's good. We've done that. Look! Look at them! They're doing, they're doing it! We're going to have a clean office! Oh my goodness, I'm I'm amazed. I'm actually amazed. I'm, I'm proud of all of you. Please clean that last desk there. It's not going to take you much time. Seven, you've not got much time left. You did it. I think you did it. I think you did it. I think they cleaned the entire office. Remember that you can view real-time reports from the game menu at any time. Uh, real-time reports. Really? My reports? Oh, it's these. Right, okay. So that actually tells you real-time what's happening. Okay. Understood. Right, so... We've got a project manager now. Can we upgrade things? Upgrade. Sorry about the project the feature. Hi, project manager to unlock this feature. I have got a project manager here. Uh, we could educate them. No. I just project. All oh, right. So we have to just wait for this project manager to actually discover the upgrade. I'm assuming is how that's going to work. So I think what I want to do now is hire. 
Um, I, I kind of want to do two things. I kind of want to build an operations place so I can get more calls dealt with. But I think I need another uh, one of these offices so I can move my IT staff to better desks. I think they would like that. I think that they're having a, a big problem with the desks that are sitting there. No, we need more operations. We need we need more. Well, that's gonna. Uh, if we have more calls taken, it's gonna be more desks to fix, isn't it? So it really is a tough one. It's a really tough game, actually. Uh, operations. I'm just gonna get another operations desk. I'm waiting for the money. We have to we have to keep upgrading our operations desk. Our buyout queue. Uh, sorry, our back office queue is just huge. It's just not going down at all. Come on, there we go. Thank you. Okay, shop. Where should I put it? Should I put it over there? I think I will. Where should I put it? I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put it here. All right, operations. There we go. Select client. Yep. Fine. Now we need some staff. And these are just going to be a back office queue staff. Because we have got so many. Like, even the inbound is kind of getting there. But uh, the, the back office is just huge. But the back office pays more. That's why I'm thinking of getting that. Uh, game menu, shop menu, okay, operation staff, uh, back office agent, yes. Shop menu, back office agent. Oh, we can't afford. Right, fine. Can I actually select? No, I can't. I was thinking. I was wondering if I could select the um, start times for the back office staff before they actually start. I want them to start at. Um, I want them to start at about eleven. No, actually, can I make them start late? Can I make them have a 2 o'clock start? They finish at half. They, they, might, they might not like that. 2 o'clock. Let's see what they think about that. They might have a problem with it, and if they do, I can re I can change it. I'm not sure how this game deals with late starts, but in most call centers, you'll have a an early start, and then you'll have a late start, and I'm quite happy for these people to be late starters. But if the shift ends at 11, there would need to be an IST staff for until that late, right? That is a problem. Well, let's change it, actually. Let's put it to 1. One's better. One o'clock, yeah. Schedule, one o'clock. There we go. Done. Man, I've been recording for 27 minutes. This game is very addictive. Very, very addictive. I just want to play it all the time. Right, we've got a lot of computers broken upstairs. And that's probably because we lost one of our IT staff and I didn't replace them. Just on the thought that maybe they could, you know, do it with three. We may have to get another one. We're definitely going to have to get another IT staffer. Right, here's our f forecast. 950 calls due tomorrow uh, for back office even. Uh, items of work, I should say. Back uh, Outbound's fine, though, which is good. Do I want to save? Yes. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I have been Nalzi. You've been fantastic. I'm going to wrap this up here because if I record for any longer, it's going to be like a 40-minute video. If you enjoyed the video, then of course remember that you can always click like. And if you've got any tips or suggestions for the next video, then please do leave them below. I think in the next video, I'm going to fill up these last spots here. Get another operations desk here. And not all the operations, but a service desk. And hire uh, another IT staff and move my two IT staff that are here and here to these new desks. What do you think? Thoughts below. And I'll catch you next time for more of the same. See you all later. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too hoo suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you hooty fo ho people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god, goodbye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.